Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share tips with the new Butterfly uh, Brilliance. You get the stamp set, you get the die. The die it's amazing. It's a set of 12 and also for limited edition, so that means while supplies last. So the die and the stamp set will be in the new catalog coming up in um, May. But note that the lovely designer series paper, it is while supplies last. And I think this is, if you get the bundle, you, you want to stock up. Because the die match with that, you get... All those lovely spring, I say, colors. Beautiful, beautiful. See, this would make a nice sky, right? Oh, lovely. So that is the paper, like I said, it's limited edition while supplies last. But the stamp and the die will be in the new catalog. Also, we got the wood grain paper. This is a specialty paper I'm gonna say it's very well it's about like the designer series paper but maybe even thinner but you get the texture like the wood on it so the paper are both while supplies last okay so let's start because it's such a big stamp set let me share my best way how to mount this it's tricky to mount a big uh, stamp because this is a one piece. So the best advice that I can tell you, so decide that it's shiny, that you get the strip, that you would peel that up, right? And then put half the other half. Well, we're going to keep this down, bend on one side here and peel the whole thing like so. Now bring a big clear uh, block or you can put it on your stamparatus also, okay? Because we will use the stamparatus. So if you don't have the block, you can do this on the stamparatus. You're going to put that right here because you could use the plate because, you know, the plates, well, remove. So you could do that with this also. So now... We're going to take the backing, that's the trickiest part here, because when it's paper, it bend, right? So let's just, you're going to take both out. That is my best advice. I mean, on regular stamp to this work, lovely, but when it comes to a big stamp set, even more so. I'm not worried about the little piece because I can do that after. Take your stamp set, put it upside down so you get the, the, the sponge, I'm going to say, in the back. Now you can see, I'm going to have to bring it down a bit because I need to see. Now you can align that exactly your uh, clear the clear with the stamp set so it's a lot more precise doing it this way than the other way now press this you got it now we're going to lift this up and then we're going to just pop this out voila my friend so now i don't have no bubbles or and it's smooth the whole way so this is the first step of my tip now I want to remove this right away because if you leave especially new cling a uh, stamp on a clear block for a long time especially when they new or oh, they're hard to pull but if you peel them up when you're done you're good okay now I will not use this uh, block again if you don't have the stamparatus but a lot of the stuff I'm going to share it's with the stamparatus the block that you need this is letter F it's the biggest one okay now, what I done, I took a piece, well, you know what, let's move this here. I took a piece of um, six by eight and a half, 
and I see it's one piece same than the stamps right and I die cut this and this piece here I will use over and over so I use the thick a cardstock when you do that also you want to keep all those bits of all the butterfly because you're gonna see I'm going to share something that you want to use that. So that I would take a, li a little cellophane bag or a Ziploc bag, whatever, and keep these together. Because you're going to use that over and over and you don't have to do that a second time if you keep yours. Now, let's bring this to the Stamparatus. So now, I find the easiest way, if you already cut this, right? You're going to go ahead, I like to put that in the corner, so that way it's going to be easy to use the same, the paper over and over, and it's going to match. But when you put your stamp, just look in the back, align this very lovely here, see, it matched very lovely, oops, make sure you keep it all together here. See, I shake it and then I know. Then I'm going to put that in the corner. Put that here. Now we're going to close this. And just to make sure I'm at the right spot, we're going to use the memento ink. And I'm just going to do a little bit because it's not important right now. And I'm going to, just to make sure I was set up correctly. Yes, I am. So now, I can remove this. I can bring, so you're going to say, well, it's going to waste paper. Well, you always need scrap, right? So I say this is going to save you a lot of time. I could cut down here, absolutely. So eight, instead of um, eight and a half, I could do um, six by uh, six no six by seven because that's about one inch so I could save an inch I just cut a piece of paper on the long way there so yeah you could always do um, six by seven and a half now what we're going to do is stamp this and I like to put a cover back there a, um, a case so then it's easier you could use any color I'm just using a memento here because I want to show different technique with this so now I'm going to press this lovely lift this up I'm missing there I'm going to press there et voila so now we're going to keep it keep your stamp there because you know it's matching now I'm going to bring my mat that we use I'm going to put this at the top now if you want a different color butterfly that's why I told you to save these now you can cover this so then you wouldn't mix your colors right if you want different color so you're going to put these Oh, that one it's not there it's there I, I'm not afraid the bottom I won't go that far but you see what I'm where I'm going with that so now I could take my um, blend my uh, blushing uh, brush and then I can move on I'm out of ink there so that is one way that you can do to add your color yes you're going to have on the outside a little bit but that's okay it just gives some character then I go more see right now I would have the yellow there but now because I get this I don't have to worry so much so that was the the blushing uh, the blending brush now another thing that I did I like granny apple uh, green for the body and I just go ahead and color this. You could always add more. Let's say you want to add, I'm just doing different thing here. You can color with the blends on top of your uh, sponge, the ink, okay? 
absolutely it's you can do that so voila so that's one thing you can do now I'm gonna put that there gonna remove this you just have to make sure bottom and corner there now put that here just in case that if you're you know you do big stroke then that would help you if not you don't need that you can oh you can remove them is that the right one yeah it is let me just move this et voila now you can take um let me pull it okay i got coastal cabana here we got some uh, swallowtail here that are blue and yellow that i absolutely love i'm going to take my coastal cabana and with my dauber and i'm going to put that here and then i'm going to put on this side so you see you can mix color very very easy and then I, I'm going to come, instead of yellow, I'm going to take a mango, mango melody, and then I'm going to come here. Blend that there. Et voila. So now you saw how you can do with, you know, the brush. Or you can color everything with the blends, marker, whatever you prefer. But these, I'm saving that for over and over. So that's how this works. Now let's bring our die cut machine and the magic happen. So <clears throat> for this, uh, let me see. I want to make sure you can see. So the die, it's all together just like the stamps. So you're going to have platform one, platform two, and a clear plate. Let's time to roll this over. Here we go. And then you're going to put your uh, paper. Put your die at the top. See, it matched perfect. So really, you are cutting six die in one shot. Now I'm going to put that at the top and roll on. Okay. So that's what I done for my mask, but without, you know, the coloring. Now you can see I got all my butterfly. Is that cool and quick and so on? I think that is amazing. Now, we got, like I said, it's a set of 12 dies. We got the detail dies. So I'm going to bring this one here. I like vellum on this, or you can use different things. I think I got a piece of vellum here. I'm going to take my vellum. You can use cardstock. You know what? We're going to do a vellum and we're going to do one in black. Get scrap here and let's bring another butterfly here and we're going to put that there. So now we're going to roll this through and now we're going to have that beautiful detail. So the detail one are not all together because they're not built like that. When you cut your butterfly, they all, you know, separate. So, here we go. Whoops. And this, you wouldn't really use that if you really get the stamping, because it's the detail, right? So now I would remove all this here. I should have taken my brush, but I won't take the time right now. See, and they come very lovely, though. See? Now, well, let me grab my brush. There we go. And usually when I do the brush, I also like to keep that together. So then I can really bring this in the back and brush through it and then I don't have to worry about my paper to rip right 
and then I just get little tiny bits to left off. Two little plays there. And then I got my poker here. I can do this. I got two left. So that's pretty darn good, right? And then it's the same thing with the vellum. So the vellum, I would put this at the top. Make sure that, so before I took it off, usually that's what I would do. And use your brush. And this one, for some reason, maybe I should have went back and forth. Usually when you uh, die cut detail uh, stamps like that, you want to do one at a time. I mean, detail uh, die, you want to do one at a time so the pressure is equally. Move this and let me share with you how that look on the butterfly. If, well, I don't know where I put them. Oh, right here. So I got the big one here. See the the vellum give a very nice look like the wings, right? So that's I really like that. And then in the black, well, that would be more outline. So I don't know if we colored this one. We didn't. So see, now I could put that if I would have color yellow in the back. Or I got some color. I'm going to show you another thing with this. Oops. So this one, it's this. See how pretty it is? Okay, so that's the detailed one. Now, if you want to emboss, see here, I done the blue and yellow. If you want to emboss, you can. Then you're going to take tap two and your cutting uh, plate off. You're just going to use tap one. And you're going to put, and that if you emboss, I would do it all. Because if you just do one, by the time you do the other one, it's flat up. I don't know if you can see these are embossed. So what you're going to do is take your die, place, oh, first we need one more step. You take your silicone mat, place your silicone mat there, place your die where it goes, so you match this. You can do just then your clear plate, make sure this don't go, and you can Oops, that's not right. I'm sorry, I forgot one step here. You need the plate two. Not the clear plate, but the plate two. So it's one, two. Then it's your silicone mat. And then it's your stamp image. Make sure that your die, it's on, it's on top of the silicone mat. And then place that. Roll it in. They don't seem right. Let me double check this. Oh my goodness. Okay, back up the dress big time. It's not two, it's a plate. Plate. So you take number two off this. Okay, I really mix you up. So one, three, silicone, paper, dye. I don't do this often, but when I do it, I love it. So sometimes I have to remind myself. Now roll it through. It's going to roll very smooth. But you don't have a big imprint like that. Let me show you the imprint. Don't know how much you can see. It's raised but not that much. But it's still raised. You can use a piece of cardstock. And I recommend just the regular cardstock. So I'm going to take a piece of cardstock here. Because usually I use uh, the one that come in the back of the designer series paper, the white one. That was very thick with this one. So I just use a regular cardstock, put on top, and see, listen. You got the crackle, but do not worry. It's not cutting through. See, you got your emboss. Well, you can see in the back even better, right? So you get the emboss and not cut. Do this at your own risk, but if you follow this, and this is for the new machine. I got another one for the big shot. You can watch that, but this, 
sandwich thing, it's for the new machine. So it's plate number one, a plate number three that it's a clear plate, silicone, paper, and dye. Okay, another thing. Now let's bring the designer series paper here. Like I said, this is a limited edition, beautiful print, but this lovely print with all the butterfly, your dye will match. So you can go ahead, you're going to put one, two, and three, your paper, your dye, and that, if I can see where I put it here, that's the dye that all together. You're going to place that right here. Is that the bomb or what? And then you're going to take a clear plate. Make sure it don't go on the side. Roll on. And now I can remove this. Voila. And you can even do partial of the butterfly like on the side of the car if you want. But is that the coolest thing or what? I think that is amazing that you can get all those beautiful butterfly in very little time. Now I'm looking where I put um that here. So here with this one here, see how that adds so much the layer and it's quick. You can die cut them all and boom. So that is this. Now let me bring the dies here and let me share what else you get in this. Okay, so you get the big butterfly that go there and then you get all the six butterfly the detail butterfly that's six of them you get five on one sheet and you get one over here you get a full tiny little butterfly in here too and these will match with some of them here so if you take this and it's not the exact match, but it worked very lovely in here. See? So it would work. Now, you get the brick wall. You get the stepping stone. You get the other butterfly. And you get those little pebbles. Let me share. So the brick, you would do like the background because you get all the little pieces removed. Also the little pebbles there. And these, the checkers are the little... Um, earring bone, I don't know what you call it. That would make an awesome background, maybe a border and so on. It's just do the little line. So all this. So again, the dies in the stamp set will carry over in the new catalog. The paper, it is um, while supplies last. And you see, I cut quite a bit. I was having fun with this. It's quite a bit in this. Uh, I didn't try the little butterfly on these. Uh, it will still work. You would cut off a bit, but it would work. So that's the best one here. Uh, oh, here they are. You know what? I'm pretty sure. No, not quite. So really, the one that match, it's the, um, the big one, okay? The full one. This one here, that match perfect with your um, die. I mean, it's, it's designed like that. So that is it for my tip of this. I got a special offer for the month of March 2021. All who purchase the bundle, that's the stamp set with the die, you get 10% off. And you will have a download of over, more than 10 cards to use this product. One of the cards, and then the detail it's in right here, this is a window card. So you can up on my blog, you get the direct link, that one everybody going to have access to it, and it's more. So to get all the detail, go right below. 
I get the direct link and you're going to get all the detail. So this is new, the butterfly bouquet, it's new. Um, it's um, the paper, it's limited edition. I cannot say that enough because I know that paper, it's the bomb. Thank you so much and you have a lovely day my friend. Bye bye for now.